Hi, my name is Daniel, and I'm a paramedic student at SLC. Today, I will be showing you how to properly and safely hold C-spine and fully immobilize a patient. Pulling up on scene, I must first check my environment, if there's any hazards that can hurt me or my partner. Do I see a mechanism of injury? How many casualties do I have? Will I need any additional resources to assist me in treating these patients? And finally, I must put on the proper personal protective equipment, such as gloves, if on a roadway, helmet, and reflective vest. Once I've completed this, I am able to move in and make contact with my patient. When coming up to my patient, I want to tell them not to move, introduce myself, and then ask for consent. Hi, sir. I'm going to get you not to move. My name is Danny. I'm a student paramedic. Are you okay to help you out today? Yeah. Awesome. Next, I'm going to ask my partner to hold manual, inline, C-spine. Steve, are you able to hold C-spine for me? Okay. So next, I would do my gross bleed, six P's and A, and I would palpate the patient's spine for further injuries. So now I'm going to fit the patient with a collar. Next, we're going to put the patient onto the backboard. On Steve's count, we're going to log, log roll the patient towards me and then log roll him back down onto the backboard. So Steve, on your count of three, we're going to log roll the patient towards me. Next, I'm going to strap the patient onto the backboard. Remember to start strapping from the chest, hips, legs, back up to the head, and then the figure eight on the feet last. And this is how you properly figure eight the patient's feet together. Behind each leg. Even amount on each side. Crisscross it. And tie it underneath the feet. Stop. So now the patient is fully immobilized and ready for transport to the hospital to be further assessed by a physician.